Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but attacks cast spells, which was created by Dr. Teaspoon. You may notice it's not MG mod. This is just a separate upload because of Gmod kept crashing. So we're playing this instead. Thank you very much to Dr. Teaspoon for making it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hello, friends. We're playing Sand King. We'll grab some stuff. People already died. I'm sorry. They must have run into a hoodwink. Seems like they ran into a hoodwink, yes. You shouldn't run into hoodwink. <laughs> That's the most important rule of uh, attacks cast spells. Don't run into your opponents at level 1 unless you have a way to murder them. And, um, well, it turns out they didn't. So yeah, anyways. So, uh, I'm Sand King. I'm really excited to play Sand King because... Uh, so, Sand King used to be a fine hero in attacks cast spells. But now, he is amazing. Like a top tier character. And I just think it's cool to see that evolution a little bit. So, I thought it would be neat to show it off today. Why is Sand King so good now? Well, he has a spell that's an attack now. He's got Stinger. And yes, this does 100% work. So if you use your Stinger, then that will trigger um, a spell. But even more importantly than that, as much as Stinger is powerful, we can trigger Stinger with our Aghanim Scepter from Epicenter. So we have two spells that will trigger attacks. And Epicenter will actually trigger multiple attacks because it casts multiple Stingers. That's kind of crazy. That's like actually genuinely super, super strong. Oh, I do not like this. Ha! My secret technique! <laughs> People don't even know that Sand King goes invisible anymore. But my Sand King is invisible! Huh? It repositions it? Oh, it repositions because I'm recasting it because I'm triggering it. Ah, that makes sense. Yes, I was surprised for a moment. I thought I... I had discovered some sort of hidden feature. Okay, that's bad. Um, this is okay though. I mean, that's, that's not really gonna gonna do too much, unless I never actually trigger my sandstorm. Can I just? There we go. That's what I needed. Very good. Poke. Got him. So we're still alive. Everything is good. What are we building? Well, we're gonna build an Aghanim Scepter as quickly as possible. Because Aghanim Scepter really enables this hero. And it makes it so we actually never have to go for any sort of attack speed. That's just not necessary. We can go full on 100% um, survivability. We want Aghanim Scepter and we want Bloodstone. Bloodstone is actually like the second most important item for us. Because uh, it does uh, have the really, really significant benefit of increasing the AoE of Stinger. Not even just the AoE of our um, of our ultimate, but also of Stinger. And that's great. All right. Stinger something's down. There we go. We've got an ultimate trigger. Very nice. Activate this bad boy. And uh, we want some mana. I might just... No. I was considering delaying my Aghanim Scepter a tiny little bit. So I can pick up some mana region. But I, think, I, I don't think I will. I think... It's much more important that we have our um, Aghanim Scepter as quickly as possible. Oh, this is so nice. It's so good, actually. Stinger's such a crazy ability. You just come in, you poke him. It's an AoE attack. Oh, it's perfect. I mean, honestly, obviously Valve were designing this, this ability specifically for attacks cast spells. <laughs> I have no other explanation for why it's so good. Okay, what's going over there? PA seems to be the weakest hero here. Oh, PA is not bad. PA is gonna go nuts eventually. Alright, here we go. We've got our Aghanim Scepter. Next up, Bloodstone. Gives us mana and also gives us a UE bonus. Uh, but yeah, so how does a Sand King's Aghanim Scepter work these days? Well, it makes it so that when the pulses start, Free stinger attack areas are created every 0.5 seconds at random locations, each measuring 15% of the epicenter's current radius that apply 50% of stinger damage to enemies hit, and shard pulses cause one attack. So, um, if we do this, we trigger our ultimate. We didn't trigger our ultimate. No, nope, no ultimate. That's fine. But if we trigger our ultimate, then we are attacking three times per half second. So six times per second. And uh, with increasingly bigger radii, but of course, our bloodstone is going to make that radius even bigger. So we're just kind of... Are we there? 
You might be dead. Wow, I couldn't couldn't do anything. Do those stack? Your top tower is under attack. Car speed manipulation. Yeah, okay. But I mean, this is a really, really fast car. So I'm surprised that didn't come out. All right. Did we get it? We got it. Nice. Nothing to worry about. Level these up. Grab all of these. Take you down. Blink Dagger is also great for us. For normal Sand King reasons. Don't think I need to explain that too much. Um, I think, yeah. I was going to help the Dazzle, but I feel like if I try to help that, I'm just making things worse. Alright, come on. Ulti. Ulti. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill her normally. <laughs> it's not how I want to do it. It doesn't feel great. But also, man, that hero is bad. God, Phantom Assassin is just not very strong. Hello. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, did we hit something else? Just creeps? Just creeps. Level up Epicenter. Level up Sandstorm. Get the extra Burrow Strike cast range. We want this. We want this. Oh, there's a Bane. Any ultimates? Any ultimates? There we go. Now we just need to find the Bane. No Bane. That's okay. Look at how big that Stinger is now. Kind of crazy. Yeah, we found the Bane. Are we dead? Presumably. Are we definitely one million percent dead? <gasps> we got him. Nice. Good job. That's pretty sick. Let's increase our radius. Look how big it is now. <laughs> That's kind of insane, isn't it? And here's our blink dagger. Who's that? Windranger. I'm not super worried about that. I'm, I'm gonna fucking go for this, Luna. <laughs> Alright, she's got... She's got a resurrection. Come on, come on. Nice. Just barely enough. But it was enough. Where's the Bane? Where's the Bane? Where's the Bane? Oh, we got the Bane! Ha ha ha! <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Sanking goes so hard now. Let's pick up an item. We can get... I suppose an arcane ring seems alright. And now we've got plus 10 epicenter pulses. So that's gonna make things go even crazier. Even more powerful. We poke once here. Didn't get an ultimate. All right, we've got an ultimate queued up. I'm coming in. Ultimate lasts a while. So I am fine just kind of having it ready. <laughs> and then teleporting in afterwards. Oh my god. Who else is there? Anybody else wants to fight? I'm glad that Sand King is good now. Obviously, this isn't particularly... Ac oh, I, am I dead? Presumably Invis? Doesn't help. Doesn't help? Does that thing give vision? Leashed? I don't know if it gives vision. So anyways, sorry. Uh, we'll get, we'll get a yours. That should definitely help. What was I saying? All right. I'm glad Sand King is good now. Obviously this right here isn't Sand King, right? This isn't what he's balanced for. But he's good even outside of, um, even outside of silly custom games like this. And I think that's nice. I'm glad to see some heroes that have just always been a bit lacking kind of take the spotlight for a bit. Alright, come on. Go get him. <laughs> come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Toast still managed to get that kill though. Well, we got a hard. Okay. 
Is there anybody? There's a Luna. Luna is definitely scary. I don't have an ultimate going on right now either. Leave a thumbs up or I'm gonna get even closer. That's always the tricky part for us. We don't have a great way of actually casting our ultimate. Yep, there we go, we died. So what we need to do is we just need to trigger it. And if we don't trigger it, well then, that's that. We die. So, we want to trigger it. That's kind of a really, really important factor here. I wonder what the best way of doing that is. I mean, I guess we could get MKB, just have some extra attack speed. Is attack speed really the way to go? Just get a harpoon? Double hit? Or more survivability? Survivability could also just be the right answer. Gotta get lucky. I think that's the solution. <laughs> All right, Bane. Okay, we've got an ultimate. We've got a couple, two. You can stack them. That's a kill. But there is a uh, Faceless Warrior getting even more kills. I can slam an ultimate on the Luna. Come on. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna see if this is still going on by the time I come in. Yes, yes. Oh, we got it. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Huh. I mean, honestly, just the Kai and the Sange seems like the correct answer. Kaya and Sange is a really good amount of survivability. And Almor isn't necessarily that important, because if we die, we don't die to physical damage, right? We get hit, we get attacked. But what's killing us are the spells, not the attacks. With maybe the exception of this guy, but that's all right. Where is he? Is he gone? I hit something. What did I just burrow strike? Must be a creep. Oh, an invisible Luna. Well, you're lucky then. If I had triggered another one of my epicenters. Ooh, I don't care if you're invisible there. Did we get it? No. All right. Chromastone? Can I yours? I can. Is it enough in this? It's not enough. Damn. Does this reveal? Why does he see me? That's the part I'm lost, lost on. It doesn't say that it reveals, does it? I know that Chronosphere reveals. So it, it just, it, that's it. That's why he can see. It, it just reveals us. Like Chronosphere, I know. 100% Chronosphere reveals. But this one doesn't say anything about it, so I'm, I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't have my ultimate. Can't trigger it. Manually casting it is going to be difficult too. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, manual casting isn't possible because it's on cooldown. Phantom Assassin is just kind of on auto mode. Murdering anything she can get her hands on. I'm just gonna see. No, I don't think you can win against me. I, I don't think you... Oh, I didn't trigger it! Oh no, come on! I just... Ah, I need a trigger! I need a trigger! No, 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 no! <laughs> Go get him, team! 
Oh. That's unfortunate. We'll grab this right here. Moon shard. Very good. You sell stun with yours. If you're stunned, you can't trigger. I don't believe that's true. Like, did you not see earlier that we definitely triggered our stuff while being stunned by the faceless void? Like, I'm fairly confident that you can trigger stuff while stunned. I've also done the yours thing before. Like, I'm not just buying items randomly. Yeah. Yeah, we can test it. Uh, okay, I don't know if that actually... <laughs> I'm actually not sure if that test worked, if I'm honest. Uh, maybe... Oh. Oh, I'm dead. This is not winnable, right? No, that, I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing I can do. I don't believe it's possible to beat Bane in a one-on-one -on -one like that. That seems just straight up impossible. Okay, good news, everybody. We have our Aghanim Shard, which now gives us one, like, epicenter pulse every 3.5 seconds that costs us one attack. So there is a chance that even if we don't connect with anything, maybe. <laughs> well, y'all are caught in some sort of deadlock. Uh, I want to kill this. See, I was definitely stunned right there, and I got him anyways. Ah, oh, but everything is dead. It's difficult to test because, like, I murder things once I start triggering stuff. No? No ultimate? <laughs> got it anyways. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Let's see if we can maybe push a bit. Deadlock mansion. Yeah, small indie game deadlock. By by small independent development. Valve Studios. <laughs> hmm. How the fuck do I trigger anything here? You, come on. Ulti. We got it. We got it. We got it. We actually good. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Again, that wasn't a good test. We didn't hit anything. Well, I got him. I don't know if there's anybody else here. Oh, there is! Let's go! Nice! Is there another one? There is! Come on! Come on! We can do this! Yes! Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> I lost track of him. No, we got him. Oh, I ran out. I ran out. But we got him. We got him. Nice. Let's go, team. Let's go. Oh, I immediately got slapped. Wow. Holy shit, Phantom Assassin. This is Phantom Assassin how she sees herself, right? <laughs> this is the this is the Phantom Assassin every pup player sees when they pick the hero. They're just like, oh man, I'm gonna fucking sip around the place. This is Phantom Assassin and Haze from Deadlock. <clears throat> oh, that's an ultimate, right? Hmm. So we don't really want to get close. It's normal PA? Yeah, it's regular PA from Dota 2. Just normal old Phantom Assassin from the video game. Oh! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Can we do anything about this guy down there? Probably not. Sean goes down. Hmm. 
Waddle, waddle, waddle. Okay, we have an ultimate active. That's actually kind of nice. Ooh, Roshan banner. Uh, I think this might not... Oh, I'm dying. I'm... I'm are you... Uh, yours? Ah. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if I can trigger during yours, actually. Go to sworn it has happened before, but it hasn't happened recently. Admittedly, my ultimate is random. Like, there's no guarantee it will actually trigger. And there were definitely a couple of circumstances where I saw it not hit. Like this situation with the Phantom Assassin around here. That it, I just straight up did not connect with it properly. So, I mean, it's not like I can do anything about it. It is fully RNG. Well, that's an easy kill. Alright, we're going in. All right, healing. Come on. Oh, it's not enough. That is crazy. You guys are so strong. Ho, ho, ho. What do I do about this time zone? Huh. Okay, I have this at least. I am dead? Was that like three crits in a row? Wow. Let's go Techies though. I'm glad Techies did get to go a little nuts. Yeah, yeet yourself in there Techies. <laughs> Are you the attack range Techies? Yeah, very good. That is great. I mean, it's not actually good. It's pretty bad, but it is great. I was hoping... Oh, no, I did get her. Nice. I was about to say I was hoping to time it so that she still teleports in so I can kill her. But I guess she died so quickly that I didn't even get to see the hero. The vampire fangs seem nice. Mm-hmm. There's the Phantom Assassin. What are your favorite characters in Deadlock? Abrams, Schiff, and Hayes. Which I think is pretty much exactly the answer you would expect of me, you know? It's just like the most bulky, stupid characters that are... Well, no. Either stupid, bulky characters or stupid, carry characters. Like, Hayes is a stupid tanky, a uh, stupid carry character. Abrams is a stupid bulky character. And Shiv is kind of both. Although Hayes is, is terrible. <laughs> She's so bad. <laughs> I should not be playing as much Hayes as I do. I'm just throwing games. <laughs> I'm just griefing my team every time I pick the hero. But I just like her, okay? I just think she's neat. I can't use my ult. I can't use my burrow strike during this, which is just mean. Come on! I guess I got him. Ultimate? Nice. We're still alive. Let's go. We have defended. If you uh, if you start playing deadlock, though, friends. Let me give you a little bit of a tip. Any guide 
that doesn't include sprint boots, it's not worthy of your attention. Because the way you learn playing Deadlock is by using in-game guides. There's a lot of in-game guides. And any guide that does not include sprint boots, just don't don't even look at it. Where am I? I it wore off. Fuck. Oh no. I need I need I need a trigger. Okay, we got a trigger. We got a trigger. We got a trigger. It ran out again. It ran out. How am I running out? Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Because sprint boots are like boots in Dota. And they are just your most important farming item. If you don't have boots, you're just gonna lose. And it annoys me every time there's a guy that doesn't include boots. Because I'm just like, y'all... Y'all are just trying to be sneaky, you know? Like, y'all are just trying to be like all of those stupid Lycan and Weaver players. They're like, no, I don't need boots. I can play without them. And then, eventually you come around, actually, no, I should just buy power treads because they're cheap and god, they just... It's, it's just really good to have them. Oh, you're just backdooring us? Dude. Oh, so are they sprint boots are 500. It's just 500 souls. They're super cheap. Super cheap. All right, there we go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.